okay eku leo <laughs> welcome back again so this is my second live video now the first one just ended a few minutes ago and um in that video i introduced my youtube channel so that is that so here i'm going to be speaking with people who have the aneurysis condition people who are bedwetting i mean what if I told you that you can actually overcome bedwetting? I know many people have given up, especially those who are adult victims. I know you've given up, you've used a lot of things, you've consumed many drugs, you've consumed many horrible things. Maybe like I did many years back, you've used a lot of things and you're kind of giving up already. But what if I told you you can overcome it? What if I told you there is a solution? See, I can tell you that you can actually overcome bedwetting even without the manipulation of drugs. Write it down. I am saying you can overcome bedwetting even without the manipulation of drugs. You see, this journey takes a lot, but that a lot that it takes does not go beyond faith, patience, and consistency. It's a journey of faith, my friend. It's a journey of patience and it is a journey of consistency. One of the things, one of the things I tell people who come to me for for counsel, you know, I've I've been with the help of God, I've been able to help over 500 individuals, you know, to counsel them, to help them, give them the emotional support that they need. And one of the things I do tell them is the fact that, you see, without consistency, you may not achieve anything on this um, healing journey. You may not achieve anything because um, aneurysis is best controlled. It is best, um, it is best, it is best handled when an individual is still very young. But the moment you become an adult, you know, with that condition, it becomes something that you need to be patient with. First of all, you need to get the right information you need to get the proper counsel, the proper support, the proper help, the proper information you need to get. So after you get that information, the next thing is that you need to add faith. Without faith, this healing journey is not going to be possible. So that is one. You see this consistency of a thing, it is very, very vital. Because there are, there are lifestyles you need to change. Okay, you know, let me just quickly address this. There are two major ways you can deal with aneurysis. The first one is the pharmacological way, and the second one is the non-pharmacological way. And you see, the pharmacological way is just, you know, that strategy of drugs. You know, you have to consume a lot of drugs, consume this, consume that. It has to do with drugs. That is why it is called pharmacological method of dealing with aneurysis. But the truth is, personally, I do not advocate drugs for the control of aneurysis because there are two um, issues with drugs. The first one is that it doesn't give, those drugs do not give a long lasting result, even though they are expensive drugs. They're not even drugs you get on the counter. They are not common drugs, you know. So despite that, they do not give a long lasting result. That is number one. And the second thing is that those drugs have terrible side effects attached to them. So I, I personally don't want a situation whereby someone is dealing with aneurysis, you're dealing with a bedwetting condition, and you are accumulating a lot of other health problems for yourself. It doesn't make sense. So that is why I do not advocate. It's not like I don't know those drugs. It's not like, yes, I know them by names. I know them. I have people who, if we really want to get them, we can actually connect with them. But the truth is, do they really work? this is not based on my own speculations alone it is not based on my speculations it is based on even the testimonials we've gotten from people who have used those drugs both in nigeria and those who have used those drugs abroad so that is one thing with drug another thing is that those drugs have side effects okay i think i have mentioned that so that is the pharmacological way of dealing with aneurysis the other way is non-pharmacological way which is the best approach I advocate, the best approach I love. And this approach has to do with two major things. I mean, if you're serious about your health, 
if you're ready to do this journey, like if you're serious about the goal you have ahead of you, you know, okay, let me just quickly chip this in. Um, I remember sometimes ago counseling some children on this aneurysis of a thing, and then I told them that, okay, I, I told their, their parents, their moms, that make sure that they are not taking soft drinks, they're not taking all this sugary stuff, especially those things that contain um, synthetic sugars. And one thing their parents told me was, please help us tell them or oh, help us warn them, because even if we ask them not to take those things, at night we see them going to hide behind their, behind their, uh, the door to take all of those things. And then I tell these children, this is something I do tell children very well. You have, you have, um, you have a problem. Let me say you have a condition that you're dealing with. And then that problem is affecting you mentally. It is affecting your joy. It's affecting your, your, your state of mental health and all that. You're not happy. You're not happy. You're concerned. You're depressed. You're just anxious about the whole thing. You have that. And secondly, you see someone telling you that you need to deny yourself of certain things in order for you to get your healing from that thing that is disturbing your joy. Now tell me, which one are you going to choose? Yes, from drink drinking all of those things, soft drinks, sugary stuff, this and that, chocolate, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> from taking all of those things, you're getting pleasure. You're getting, you, you know, those things are pleasurable. But... What I now ask them is this, do you want to keep having this problem or you want pleasure? Do you want to choose pleasure over your well-being? Do you want to choose pleasure over your, your, your mental health, your joy? And they will go down and they'll be like, okay, I want my healing. I want my joy to be restored. I want my mental health to be fine. So I say, yes, if you want that, then you need to, you need to, you need to, sorry, I'm seeing a notification here. So you need to be serious about this journey. You need to be able to deny yourself where you need to deny yourself. Because pleasure, if they're saying pleasure is what you need to take away for you to get your healing, why not take it away? Why not take it away? So let me come back to non-pharmacological way of dealing with aneurysis. So this non-pharmacological way has to do with two major things. The first one is modification of diet, and the second one is modification of lifestyle. So you see, there are many things to curb. Because if you understand, if you understand that, oh, these are the triggers for this thing. These are the things that trigger this condition. Won't you know how to stay away to stay clear of that thing you will definitely stay clear of those things so it's a journey of faith it's a journey of patience but it is also a journey of consistency so if you're saying don't take this don't take this don't take and if you look at a lot of those things we say you should not take there are things that naturally they are not good i mean Forget the fact that you have a neurosis. Forget the fact that you have a bladder condition. Those things are things that are generally, I mean, they're generally not good for your health. So if we say you should stay away from those things, it is not because you are being, oh, probably we want you to live a, 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 a life of bondage or, you know, we want, you to, we want you to live a life that is not free to do whatever he or she likes or, you, you understand what I'm trying to say? So, it is because your, your well-being matters most. Your well-being matters most. Your health comes first. So, one thing, one major thing I have discovered with people who come for a neurosis counseling, one of the things why they are not recording, um, um, a great result as soon as possible is because they give up easily they give up easily on those things they have been advised to do they give up easily 
they they expect a quick result and it doesn't work that way this thing is a journey see if you if you were to go the pharmacological way of using drugs yes it is going to be fast under a month three weeks you're going to be dry but after two months three months all of a sudden you will see bedwetting the bedwetting condition surfacing again it comes back and sometimes even worse so using drugs to treat a neurosis can be faster but it doesn't last long but if you go the non-pharmacological way of you know modifying your diet and modifying your lifestyle when we say lifestyle we're talking about you know your day-to-day -day endeavors the things you engage in the exercises or the work you engage in the way you sleep all of those things matter the way you chew your food how you eat the interval the interval between your meals all of those things you know people who come for any resist counseling they get to hear more of those things so this is just like this, this is like like a general a general um address that i'm giving so it's a journey of faith it's a journey of patience it's a journey of consistency just stay consistent be consistent with everything you've been advised to do. And if you are watching me this evening and you have the enuresis condition, you're bedwetting, you're an adult, you're a teenager, you're 21, you're 25, you're 30, and you're having the bedwetting condition and you're thinking you're miserable or you are the only one having this condition, please, I'm telling you, you are not the only one. You're not the only one with this condition. There are millions of people having the same condition i am not lying look into my eyes very well i said it's millions of people in fact billions <laughs> that is just to tell you that there are a lot of people around the world not only nigeria even in developed countries married people are having this condition that is where your healing even be begins from you having it settled in your mind that come Tolu, or whatever it is your name is, you are not the only one having this condition. Because somehow that will give you relief. It's going to calm you down. That it's a journey. You're going to come to the end of this very soon. So you're not the only one. You're not the only one. So know that. Know that. And the second thing is that you should seek the right counsel. Seek the right counsel look for the right information if you're having the aneurysis condition please reach out to me if you need to talk to someone please talk to me reach out to someone this is a mission i have decided to commit my life to this is something i have dedicated myself to because i was once in that shoe and i understand how much it's dealt with my mental health i understand how much it's dealt with my with my self esteem so i know what you're facing i know what you're feeling and i'm here to help you i am here to help you it's a journey you don't give up easily you don't you don't so please if you're having the aneurysis condition if you're bedwetting you're an adult or a teenager or a married person don't be shy by god's grace ever since i started this mission i mean <laughs> married people have gained the courage to walk up to me and say tolu i have this condition how do you help me i have this condition thank you for speaking up i have been i have been dealing with this for years you know i'm happy that I'm happy that in the first instance, this whole idea of coming out to speak up, coming to do all of the things we are doing on any basis may not, may not just solve your problem within three days, four days, one week. But the fact that you hearing the story, you hearing the testimony of someone, you hearing that, oh, there's actually a solution. All of those things, the, the fact that it gives you peace, the fact that the fact that it, it helps you to stay calm, that gives me joy. It gives me joy. I am happy that someone is 
is encouraged to speak up because the worst the worst thing that can happen to someone is to have a problem and you have no one to talk to to have a problem and you have no one to to share your body with to, to share your body with so i am happy that people can now have the courage the confidence to stand up open their mouth and speak up that's the first step to healing is the first step to healing so please if you have any and if you're watching this video and you're, you're not bedwetting but you know someone who is bedwetting you know someone who have the condition please direct them to me refer them to me and i know that with the help of god with their own readiness as well with their faith with their patience with their consistency they're definitely going to come to the end of this they're going to see the end of it. I say that it's a problem and it began somewhere. It will definitely end somewhere. It will end. So please don't even don't even allow any funny thoughts, depression, or suicidal thoughts to creep into your heart. I, I can understand the pain you're feeling. I can understand maybe the stigmatization you 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 must have or you may be going through in your community or maybe in your family among your friends i quite understand i understand i've been there i was once there so i know what it feels like but never ever think your life is miserable your life is not miserable Pick up yourself. Pick up yourself and begin to do exploit. Enuresis is a distraction. Enuresis is just, you know, it's just something that has come to make you feel like you are worthless or you don't have any other assignment on earth again. You don't have any other potential inside of you that you can explore. Come on, get up, especially for youth, teenagers who are having this condition. Please don't be bothered. Don't be worried. There are people, many people with other terrible health conditions around the world. And they are living. So please, I am encouraging you. Get up. Get up. Put the worries about enuresis in one side. Put it aside. And begin to walk towards the achievement of your purpose in life. You know, I know enuresis is tricky. And if you're not careful, if you allow the depression so much, it can, it can crush your ambitions. It can crush your aspirations in life. Because if you're, if you're so depressed, you'll get to a point where you even for, you'll forget why you've been created. You'll forget your purpose in life. And all your attention, your focus will be on enuresis. Will be on how to overcome it, yes. I know you want to overcome it and you will overcome it definitely you will definitely overcome it but please don't put your focus don't put don't put your gaze on it because the more you put your focus and gaze on it the more you know the, the more you are withdrawn from your purpose the more you are withdrawn from the achievement of your purpose in life it will sweep you off your feet it will sweep you off your don't allow it don't add enuresis is just a passing thing. It is a passing thing. It is a distraction. It will go. Don't let it rob you of your, of your values. Don't let it rob you of your potentials. You can be great in life. Oh, please, please, I beg you. I beg you. If you have enuresis, speak to someone. If you don't have anyone to speak with, Please speak with me. I am available. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you for everyone who joined. I can't see anybody's comment, but I, I, I saw that a few persons watched this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And before I go, before I go, you know, I, I do say that I do a lot of things. <laughs> so let me put any races aside. Let me quickly tell you that tomorrow by 12 o'clock, I'm going to be... Um, coming up on a platform it's not my platform i was invited so it's a teacher's platform what's that name again dynamic teachers network 
in conjunction with one other um, organization like that. And I'm going to be speaking on courage and determination, courage and determination for educators. So if you're a teacher, if you, I'm a teacher, I'm a certified, trained and registered teacher. I'm registered by, by TRCN. So if you're a teacher watching me this evening, if you're a teacher, please try to join that um, program tomorrow. It is going to be worthwhile. We're going to be talking about courage and determination, how you can succeed in this, your career, how you can succeed in the teaching profession. We're going to be talking about that tomorrow. Please make yourself available. Make your, There is, you know, starting from any resource to this point, to this other information, if you're a teacher, you will know that none of it is useless for you because as a teacher, I know that you, you may have students in your class who are bedwetting. You may have children in your environment or in your society who are bedwetting. And as a teacher, you know, you are, ev you are everything to a child. So that information about enuresis is also very, very vital to you. And then this information about um, the, the webinar coming up tomorrow is much more vital. So please take this information seriously. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. This is my second live video today. The first one talked about, in the first one I talked about um, my YouTube channel and I am urging you to please Go back to that live video, the first one I did. I did that one about 30 minutes ago. You can check my timeline. I, I dropped um, the link to my YouTube channel there. I dropped it in the comment section. So just click, go there now, click and subscribe to that YouTube, YouTube channel. Please, I need you to subscribe to that channel because we're going to be talking about a lot. I, I, I didn't... You know, I was reluctant when I wanted to open that YouTube channel because I'm becoming, I do a lot of things and I have quite a lot of social media pages, especially on Facebook. So it's kind of overwhelming managing all of, managing all of those things. So when the thought of YouTube channel came, I, did, I was also reluctant about it because I, I don't want to add more stress to the ones I have already. So I, I wasn't, I wasn't so serious about it, but then... I realize that we really need that YouTube channel, especially for the bedwetting stuff. So I eventually opened one. And please, now I am begging you to go and subscribe to that YouTube channel. Go and subscribe. Go and subscribe. Especially if you are bedwetting or you, or you know someone who is bedwetting. I know they will need all the information we'll be sharing on that YouTube channel. And I also said that beyond any risks, beyond the bedwetting issue, we're also going to be using that channel for a lot of other things. Sexual purity, emotional discipline, personal and career development, mental health, a lot. Writing, public speaking, we're going to be doing a lot on that channel. I don't want to have too many channels. <laughs> because, um, you know... I hate when things are disorganized uh -huh. and I know that as time goes on, if I should open so many channels, too many YouTube channels, we may not be able to manage it. So it's good we stick to one and build it. Let's even stick to, even if at all in future we're still going to come up with others, let's build one first. So please, the target is that we should be able to reach a thousand subscribers within a week can we do that <laughs> can we do that let's go and do that let's do it let's do it thank you so much my name remains tolu joseph thank you for joining me this evening i really really appreciate you god bless you have a great night bye